John, a uh, bigger picture, uh, sorry, uh, coming out of this series. Um, when you tie the Boston games together this year, I know you've mentioned uh, pitching at some point, but is there a common thread that goes through these uh, ways that the Red Sox have gotten you? Yeah, I think they've out hit us every game, for one. Um, <clears throat> you know, did some damage. You know, it seems like it's always at the top of the order, whether it's Duran, Verdugo, Devers. Uh, Turner's a big ad for them. He kind of changes the complexion of their at-bats, I think, up and down. Uh, he gave us trouble, so I think uh, that's kind of what it is. You know, I think just a consistent, you know, offense. We were a little inconsistent. Um, separating the two series, you know, I think that's that's the biggest theme, I think. Um, and you tip your cap. They played better than us. And offensively tonight, Belt and then the, the double steal into Bo worked out really well. Do you feel getting closer to that consistency? Why or why not? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, great at bats from, you know, starting with yesterday's game at the end, I thought bats were good. Um, you know, Brandon today with the two homers, Bo with the big double or single, whatever it turned out to be. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it's there in spurts. That's kind of been the common theme. It's there in spurts. Um, and we're going to keep grinding to get it there consistently. You know, we have all the faith in the world in these dudes, and um, they've been doing it for a long time. So, uh, you know, hopefully that, that gets rolling, you know, on the road trip. John Swanson has been terrific uh, first part of this the season, I guess early the season. What are you seeing from him lately? Yeah, it's tough when we're asking, you know, him, Mesa, Jordy, you know, they seem to be up a lot and being used a lot. The appearances are up there for, you know, this time of year. Um, probably, you know, a little bit fatigued. I think it's four out of the last six days he's thrown two. And it seems like we're always playing tight games. So, you know, in those games, those guys are going to be called upon when they are available. And I think that's probably catching up to him a little bit. But still, um, you know, you, you trust him. You trust, you trust all the guys. And I think that it's, you know, at this point, uh, appearances are probably catching up to him based on the, what the score is. John, at the halfway point, um, this is just a, a more overview question, but at the halfway point, how would you describe the identity of this team if they even have one? If they even if have they one? If they have one. If, whatever it is. Well, we definitely have an identity. I mean, we, we pride ourselves on good pitching, you know, solid defense and good at bats. You know, that, that's the identity of the team and that's never going to change. Um, I think to this point in the year, we haven't really fired on all cylinders consistently at the same time. But as far as the identity of the team, I mean, it's, it's a really talented group that, you know, just hasn't clicked at the right time consistently. Um, I mean, I think anyone you ask around the league would say the same thing about us, and um, that's what we're going to continue to do going forward. Um, just from Gosman, what did you see from him? It looked like they were just making him work a lot. Yeah, um, tight strike zone, but I think pretty good strike zone. Um, you know, they, had a, they made him work. It was high pitch count, first, second, third inning, um, and then a lot of strikeouts, so it kind of ran his pitch count up. And, um, you know, that's what you have to do against a really good pitcher. So you kind of tip your cap, you know, 98 through five. Um, it was a grind for him today, you know, so I think that you kind of tip your cap to them really, you know, they're laying off some really close pitches, pitches that could go either way. And um, that's kind of, that kind of caught up to him. I know you're probably sick of us asking about the division record. Um, I mean, we've asked some guys and they say they don't approach these games any differently. And mm -hmm. I assume that's how you feel too, is would, it get in the guys' heads at all? The record, as it kind of keeps tilting the wrong way, or is it just something that just keeps happening to you guys? No, I think it's, you know, um, kind of matter, not matter of fact, you know, but they don't, again, these games are important, but you're not trying to do anything different than what you, what you do, you know, and what you're good at. And that happens to be against division opponents, you know, that's part of it, in a really tough division too. So um, they approach every series the same. Um, you know, I did. I know I've said that these these games are a tick more important this time of year against division, but um, it's not like we're trying to change anything or do anything different. And they don't think about you know they don't think about that. Uh, John, when you mentioned the um, appearances uh, back in bullpen, guys, does the All Star break reset that to 100 percent and you're good, or is it something that needs to be managed and spaced a bit beyond All Star break? Yeah, a little bit of both, I think. You know, I think. For one, tomorrow's off day comes at a good time for everyone, um, pitching staff, I think offense. Um, but yeah, I think when you, you use the break kind of uh, strategically, I think it does kind of give everyone a, a exhale and um, you know hopefully kind of get back to neutral a little bit, but you still have to factor in uh, what they've done to this point. Um, so we'll continue to do that. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks guys.